Hello, um, today I'm gonna teach how to play Pokemon Sword on the, it's on the Nintendo Switch. And let's get started. Let me just close this and start it on again. Let me go to Sword. <coughs> So first I'll show you how it will be when you become champion. Just wait for it to load. And then this is what happens when you become champion in this city that's super crowded. It's called Winden in front of a Corgi Knight statue. You finish the game and you're champion now. Now, um, there's Montreal Station. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to change the user and show you what it's, how it's going to look like if you're just a beginner and you're just starting. Then I'll tell you how you'll do this first part if you don't know what to do for the starting. We'll just wait for it to load. So this is um, my rival Hop's house. You, I start. I got a head start on this, but usually um, you just you start at your house in the beginning of the game, which is right over here. This is your house. This here. And then um, after your mom says something, uh, your rival Hop comes over and he says, "Well, meet me at my house," and then. You go to your ha you go to his house, and then you just go inside, and then you just go to the kitchen, and then you go near his mom. He she just says, "Pick up Leon and all that." So then you just go out, walk out of the gate, and meet up right over here. He says. He says about the Pokemon that are in the grass, and we have no starter Pokemon at this point, but um, maybe we'll get some later. We'll see about that. This is Route 1, and Hop's here again. You don't talk to him this time, and I wonder what that crowd of people is doing there. Uh, let's just walk over to the crowd, and <clears throat> then I see a Charizard. And Leon's here. This here is Leon. That's a special pose. This is a champion of Galar. Everyone likes him. See, some people call him Lee instead of Leon. It's sort of his nickname. And if you heard about Dynamaxing or Gigantamaxing, it's where a Pokemon just becomes big. That's how he wins his battles. He just gets his Charizard to Gigantamax. So Hop is really his brother of Leon. I just made myself cool. It shows the skies. So they say that um, Leon usually has a gift with him.
I think now is when we pick our starter Pokemon. Sable. All three are really cute. So this is the start of Pokemon part. My controller has drift, so it'll just go off every once in a while. And this is Sabo, this is Scorbunny over here, this is Pookie, and I'm gonna pick Scorbunny. So, I'm um, fire type Pokemon school, but I mean, yeah. Um, I'm not giving it a nickname because sometimes it's confusing. I wonder what Hop will choose. I guess it's Grookey. Will nowhere to go. I guess Leon will get him. They want to start with. Hop sure likes food. See, the point of this game is to beat Leon the champion and then become the new champion. I'll say yes, I just wanna check out my score bunny, how good it is. So I'm against top with my score bunny who's with his Grookey and Vulu. So this tells you this Pokemon option just tells you what Pokemon you have and its attacks. The bag, it's just like, um, it'll tell you what you have. You can catch it or heal it or whatever. And run is like, you can run away from a Pokemon, but you can't really run away from a trainer battle. So I'll just fight, and I'll use tackle.
and then he was really fainted, so I guess I'm against his Gucci now. And then, um, the Pokemon can level up, mine grew to level 6, and I got a new Pokemon move that I can, uh, use. Fire-type has an advantage against Grass-type, so I'm gonna use Ember. what type of advantage is. Ember, again. And then the Gucci is going to that won the battle because we got two Pokemon. And I beat both of them. I got like something else. And then, uh, once you win a trainer battle, you get uh, some money from the other guy. So, and I got four hundred dollars. So the gym challenge is basically, you go to every gym and battle gym battles. So now we have to get our Pokédexes and let's go there. I'll show you where the Pokemon Research Lab is and a secret place right there where you can get a Pokeball. I guess first we have to deal with something. A woo that has crashed. So we just have to go in there, the slumbering world. Just dodging, go back in. There's the slumbering world. It's all foggy. So there's like three pairs of bushes and each bush you have to fight against the Pokemon. Here it's a Skawalit. I can just take him on just using them the way it's good. Probably, you know, I'm not sure. And it's critical hit. I got XP points and then back to what we should be doing. Here. And this time it's a Wikidi. What's your number? And there's different states like burn, paralyzed, and a couple others. Right now with burn, it just gets um, a little health off every um, turn. It can just, but it's if it has a trainer, the trainer can use a burn heal, and then its burn is off. But for now, the wickedies have burned. So I'll just run off again. I wonder what the howl noise is. Another skull up. And 
a few more scoby bits. Um, sometimes on the moves it says not very effective, no effect, um, effective or super effective. Try to always get the one that has the most, like here it says effective and defective. It doesn't say anything for growl, so I gotta use one of these two and I'm gonna use Ember because it's my favorite out of all of these. And it fainted. So we'll just keep going through the world. And now we witness the legendary Pokemon Zacian right about now. Yeah, right about now. We witness Zacian for the very first time. Um, he's actually an illusion, and uh, the real Zacian comes at around the end of the game when another Pokemon, dangerous Pokemon named Eternatus comes, that's when the real Zacian comes. Right now, he's just an illusion. Right now, no one has ever discovered Zacian. No one knows what it is. Neither do the characters in the game know what it is. See, it's an illusion if you saw carefully. Just all white now and foggy. And then we see the forest again. I think we're laying down and getting up. Oh, Leon comes. So then you have to go back to the house and tell your mom that you're becoming a trainer. So we go in the house. So you just keep going all the way until you go to Wedgehurst. And that's the place where you saw Leon the first time. 
So I have to go all the way there, but then there's a Wulu blocking the way. A line of Wulus. So you have to go through another path. See, there's a Wulu blocking the way. You don't want to interrupt them. So you go through this path here, and if you see a Pokeball like that, just go to it, and you'll get some item. And then it's a Paralyzed Heal, which will treat Paralysis. There we got a cross. Now it's Charizard. And then, this is the station right here where we met Leon. From here, just go to the right. And then, right over here where you see Leon. And that's the Pokemon Research Lab. So, we just go in. And the play is filled with books. So this is Sonya, she's the professor's assistant, her Pokemon is Yamper. So there's different routes in this. And right now we're in Wedgehurst. From Postwick to Wedgehurst, that's route one. And there's a trainer here. He gave us a potion. Also, if you see closely, there's a secret way here. See here? And then just go around. You have found this purple, a rare candy. Let's see what happens if we if we use this rare candy on my score bunny. I got a pokeball. What else do I have? Some rare candy. There we go. I just used it on my score bunny. Oh, and he leveled up and learned quick attack. Um, let me just go back and back. Let me go out of this place. So there's a Pokemon Center, and um, when you want your Pokemon here, just go to this lady over here. And she says, do you want to rush your Pokemon? Say yes. And then you got your Pokemon all healed.
This here is Ray Tommy. No. Oh, I still want to click those. Um, this here is Ray Tommy. And then you can click check boxes right here. And you got Pokemon boxes. You got a couple boxes, not just one, like about, I think eight. So let me just go back. This is the potion market. You say I'm here to buy, and then you can buy all this stuff right over here. I'm gonna buy some of these, about two, I think. Um, actually, I'll get them later. I'll save my money. Just come out, and if you want to, and if you want to, just talk to this lady over here. She's just gonna ask you for your date of birth, and then um, you just tell her she. And then like she just um, just takes it and tells a horoscope or something. So now we're headed along Route 2. Let's go down these stairs. Across the bridge. See, now we're at Route 2. Just go to hop over here. He's gonna say some stuff. And then Leon comes, gives you some Pokeballs. So that's how you catch the Pokemon. So you get to 20 Pokeballs. So let's catch this Choodle over here since we haven't caught one. So for Pokemon at um, Route 1 and Route 2 and along Wedgehurst and Postwick, you don't really have to battle, you can just um, click X and then there's different types of Pokeballs. Right now we only have 25 normal Pokeballs. So we just throw the Pokeball, catch the Pokemon, and then it says, yeah, you've got the Pokemon. And Shooter was caught. And it uploads it in your Pokedex. And gives you some XP points. Its data is added. If you want to give it to a nickname, just give it a nickname. If you don't, don't. I'm also going to catch a Rikidi. Once again, you just have to throw the Pokeball at Pokemon along Route 2 and 1. You just throw a Pokeball. That's all. Just throw it. There, we caught it. Maybe I'm going to catch about 5 Pokemon, I guess. Or four or five, I'm gonna click now. Uh, I found a Yamper, I'm out. Uh, I accidentally passed to a Ricky D. Uh, I'm gonna run away from it, I already have a Ricky D. Just run. I got away safely. 
And then you hit a Yemper over here. I'm gonna catch this Yemper. And then click X, Pokeball, and done. And then your Pokemon, all the Pokemon on your team get XP points, not just the one that um, went. Dude, I don't want to give the Emperor a nickname. The Emperor was added to my party. Uh, I might want to catch a Scovolvet. Uh, um, let me catch that Scovolvet. Uh, what happened? Oh, who do? I don't want to catch this one. So I mean, I ran away. Um, let me go to the skull a bit. Never mind, I actually crashed to the video again. Let me just run away from the wiki. You don't have to catch all the Pokemon that I do, just catch whatever you want. I'm catching the Nicket. It's a fox. I'm not gonna permanently keep these on my team. I'm just keeping them in my Pokeball. Just to have at least some Pokemon on my team. And have someone to battle with if my score bunny just goes faints. See all the Pokemon get XP points. And then let me just crash into the skull a bit. Maybe now we can just go on and head to the house. Maybe we'll have some battles along the way. But we don't want to just lay it, you know. No, I want to give a nickname. It's added to my party. Let's just run across the field. We find the trainer over here. We just go to him, he'll battle us. See swap test. He sends out a skull of it. So I send out my score bunny. And let me just use Ember. And then finish the skull of that talk. Oh, I can finish him off by this one. Um, Ember might finish him off, so let's use another one, okay. Ember. Each city has a different theme kind of thing. Oh yeah, I found a Pokeball there. See, there's sometimes a slope like this. So I'm gonna get a Pokeball. And when you see a place like this, that means you can jump off of it. Of course, I'm gonna go down here too. Just to see, oh, there's a Pokeball. I'm just gonna get Got off. And we have another trainer that we can um, battle against. Last line. She told. Um, I'm not gonna. Uh, oh yeah, right. I forgot. Um, 
Let's use tackle. Let's use tackle one more time. We're all just using tackle here. Youngster Benjamin, the Bells guy. The bag. Oh yeah, by the way, this is Pokemon Sword. Uh, if you have Pokemon Shield, it still works the same way, um, except slightly different changes. Oh, the book book painted. Right away. Uh, when you're catching Pokemon, try not to use super effective hits or else they're going to faint. You're not going to be able to catch it. Uh, I'm not going to switch it. Mikit. Neil Mikit. Ember. I beat all three trainers with just my little score button. See, the Samper just following me. Professor Mongolia. Sonia is this professor's um, granddaughter. He said, Come inside, we came inside. Heals the teams for teams. He's waiting outside, so I'm gonna go outside.
I'm not gonna switch my Pokemon and he's going out goofy. Fire has the advantage against grass. I'm probably gonna win this one. It's not very effective. Ember. Let's use Ember one more time. So it's a different Pokemon, there's different abilities, and here Rookity's ability is Rookity's Unnerve, which um, means that my team is too nervous to eat any berries which heals them. So now I um, won against Top. He gave me some money. He gave us the endorsement. So it's almost done. All we need to do is um, get our Dynamax bands now and then go to the station, start our journey. So we got wishing stars and two wishing stars came down. He gave one to me and this thing can be turned into Dynamax bands. Just like Leon has one on his wrist. And then we obtain Dynamax bands. Now we have the ability to Dynamax and Gigantamax.
So now he wants to see who can catch the most Pokemon. I'll catch about two. Let's just catch this kid. Oh, okay. Well, that was totally unexpected. And as you and your Pokemon grow stronger, so does the Pokemon and the weeds. So I just use Tackle. I think I can catch it now. I got it this time. Oh, Scorbunny Scor needs to learn a new move. So what you do when you're learning a new move and you want it is you click forget an old move or keep old moves if you don't want it. But always try to click um, keep forget old move because you want to see the power. See, I want to keep quick attack because the power in double kick is less. Ember. How about Growl? That does no damage at all. So, let's do it on this one. And it learns Double Kick. I got a lot of level ups right now. Oh, yeah. Um, let me... So when you have extra Pokemon you don't want on your party, which is basically your main team, um, you just keep it in the box. So I'll just go all the way to where we came back from. See in the mid game you get this bike thing. Um, that a black white thing is a zigzagoon. So let's just go to the station. This station is where we first met Leon again. So he gave us a TM Swift, which uh, can, um, which is a technical machine, and you can uh, teach your Pokemon new moves with this TM. There's also a TR, which will break once you teach it the move. Now the now the both moms are coming, and they want to give us a camping thing. So they give us a camping gear set. So now we're on the train to the wild area.
Um, by the way, if you have Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee, and you have Sword or Shield, you just talk to those people. This girl is for Let's Go Pikachu. Talk to the girl for Let's Go Pikachu. And then you talk to this boy for Let's Go Eevee. Just go out now. So this is the wild area. That little tower there is um, Modder Stroke. And that's where we're supposed to go to start our gym talk, of course. And I'm gonna stop there. And in the next video, I'll be showing around the wild area and how to get to Modder Stroke. Thanks for watching.